In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the construct Photoshop action. So inside Photoshop here, we're just going to open up a, uh, a photo to work with. So go ahead and do that. And there's a few things we want to check before running the action to avoid um, any errors. So if you just go to the image menu, go into mode, just double check that it's in RGB color mode and 8-bit channel selected. Uh, also, if you open up your photo and the layer doesn't look like this, it hasn't got background with a lock symbol. So if you open up a photo and it's called something else, it doesn't have that lock symbol, uh, just go to layer, new background from layer, and that sets it as the background. And one more thing you want to check is if you go into layer panel and hit this top right hand corner icon, go to panel options, and just make sure add copy to copy layers and groups uh, is selected. Alright, so now we want to load up our actions. So we go to the window menu, go to actions, and uh, Actions panel will open up, hit this top um, icon up here and go to load actions, select the constructor ATN file and it appears here. Okay. Uh, next, there's only really one step involved to make this action work and what we need to do is create a new layer, must be called brush or lowercase, uh, anything else in the action won't work. Okay, do that. Now hit B on the keyboard, grab yourself a brush right click whoops right click grab a soft brush um, brush any color you want just something that stands out and we want to brush onto the photo where we want the effect to appear so I'm going to go ahead and do that Okay, something like that will do. Uh, and with that done, all we need to do now is select the construct action and hit play. Now, the action has a lot of um, commands that it has to run through. So, uh, the action goes for about a minute and a half. So, click play on the action and um, go back on the internet or something and then check back on it in a minute and a half time and see what you got. So, I'll click play on the action, fast forward the video and see what result we get here. Okay, so the action's finished, and this is what we uh, have. So what we'll do, we'll go into the layer panel now and take a look at all the um, different layers and what we can do to customize this look. Okay, so I'll just minimize, collapse these folders, and we'll start at the top. So at the top here, we just have the original area that we brushed. So you can see that wherever you brush, the effects really grow um, around those bounds. As you can see there, so just keep that in mind um, when you're brushing, and you'll notice that um, where we brush is where uh, we want to retain most of the detail in the photo. So you can see around his chest, around his arms, it's because we've brushed heavily um, in those areas. Okay, so turn that one off. Um, if you wanted to run the action again, you can just shift select all these folders, delete them, click play on the action again. Um, these two layers below are just some simple adjustment layers. You can um, increase the saturation if you want. You can target uh, individual colors. So you can go to the yellow and um, change the color of that. Oops. Playing around with that. Uh, overall contrast, you can adjust the opacity of this layer to um, affect the overall contrast of the, the design. We'll leave that at zero. Uh, here's the main construct folder, so if we turn this one on and off, you can see that that one houses all the effects. Um, and the original photo extract, I'll talk about that one uh, in a minute. Uh, and this one here, we have the background color, so we can just double click on this box and um, just pick a color. Alright, so let's go inside the contrast, uh, sorry, the construct folder. And actually first you'll notice that on the folder we have a um, we have a layer mask, a folder mask. So if you grab a black brush, um, we can actually brush away um, where we don't want the effect to appear. So I've got this dot on his forehead. I don't want that there, so I just select the, the mask and I start brushing to remove it. 
Okay, that's all you got to do. So you'll find that if you run this action on um, um, people, you might get you know these paint splatter dots over their face. So just use that method to quickly erase um, anything you don't want. Okay, this layer below is a simple another adjustment layer. It adds a little bit of sharpening to um, the main area where we brushed. Uh, it's very subtle, so you can turn that one on and off if you want to add a bit of sharpening. Add glow if you turn this one on and off. You can see the effect there. That really varies um, from photo to photo, um, the prominence of that effect. So what it does, it um, it really adds glows to the highlights of your photo. So you see around his legs, when I turn this one on and off, you see that um, working there. Uh, folder below, paint splatter. Uh, if we turn this one on and off, you can see what that's doing. Um, Let's go inside that folder and take a look. So there's a lot of different layers um, that you can experiment with. Uh, you can move them all around individually. So there's a big one down the bottom here. We can move up a bit. What you can also do um, is just duplicate these layers if you want. So maybe I want a different, another copy of this one. Um, I can just right click, duplicate layer. You know, I can move this one. Know, way up there, wherever I want. Okay, so just keep that in mind as well when you're playing around with the layers. Um, you'll notice that when you go inside these folders, there's the occasional um, solid color uh, layer that we can just turn on um, and we can color elements individually. See this one here, I might want um, to be let's go a bit of an orange, I'll move that one. Yeah, a bit like that. Okay, same with this one. Just turn it on to see. So it's these ones over here. So maybe you want these ones yellow. We'll go for a bit of a yellow theme here. Something like that. Okay. Uh, folder below is mix effects. So if I turn this one on and off, you can see. You can also see just by turning folders off, you can sort of build different looks. So if I turn the paint splatter one off as well. Um, you can see we have a, a look there, um, just turn these off, so you can have that as a separate look, you just keep the paint, um, so you can just mix folders together to build new looks as well. Um, so yeah, inside mix effects, go in here, uh, there's a whole heap of different layers you can experiment with again, uh, so for example this one, if I move this to the side, you can see it's these, um, these lines that we can move around. Duplicate as well. Um, what we can do we can rotate them. Okay. So again, there's these color layers. So if I turn this one on, you can see that it's just um, adding color options to these little dots here. Um, this one here, lines color. If I move this out to the side, you can see that that's some abstract lines we can add some color to. So um, we'll keep that one orange, I guess. Uh, okay, forward or below is color bleed. Um, if I turn this one on and off, you can see what that does. So it adds um, that painted look around the edges. So we can go inside this folder here, and the adjustment layer that I like to use in here is um, called change bleed colors. So if you just double click on this, uh, increase the saturation. But if you drag this, this one around, you can add a bit of color to uh, that paint on the outside. Okay, so that is that. Uh, folder below, edge trace lines. If I move this out to the side, you can see that it's a lot of um, edge tracing just overlaid in different areas on top of your photo. So you can go inside here, um, move them around individually. Uh, again, you can just you can duplicate them, rotate them. You can make um, make this as advanced as you want it to, really. Okay. So the original photo extract. If we go inside this folder, this is um, I'll just turn these ones off. This is the original area that we cut out. So if I turn on the brush layer, so you can see that there. So all these effects stack on top of uh, where we cut out. 
All right. So inside here we can um, we can adjust the appearance um, of that area that we cut out. So for example, uh, this one here boost contrast. If you adjust the opacity of this layer, we can just boost the contrast of that area that we cut out. So go ahead and do that. Adjust the brightness, we can double click on this and play with this slider. This the idea is to um is to match what's happening on the outside of where we cut it as well, all these uh, this abstract design. We want it all to blend uh, really well. And the layer above, uh, change colours, double click on that, you can experiment with uh, just manipulating the colour of the photo, so uh, in the in the highlights we might a bit of yellow red okay uh, that's really all there is to it um, so when you finish running the action it's jump inside the folders because there's a lot you can still do you can color elements duplicate them rotate them just keeps building and stacking effects to um, build a really cool abstract design and really no time at all. Um, so there's one other action that I've included in this. Uh, it's called Finish and Sharpen. Uh, what this would do is basically flatten your image and add a bit of sharpening to it um, just to finish finish it off. So say I'm happy with this, um, I'll click play on the action. And you'll notice what it's done, it has sharpened up a lot of the details. So. Um, we have this layer here called Adjust Layer Opacity, so it's basically how to do that. So there's our original photo, um, but you'll notice in some cases when I click, when I increase this, it's brightening up the image. You see, you can you can see it really sharpen up the details there. So this layer above, just use this to adjust that brightness if you want to. So I can bring this back down. So you can just play with. Um, uh, that action as well. Alright, so that's it. I hope you enjoy uh, using the action and please contact me if you have any uh, issues with it. Thanks.